one last try with this. Okay, so I had two things, maybe three things I wanted to address here. Specifically, I don't get this. Why is it your feet are this dark? Your legs, you know, that whole area of you is so dark. Yet somehow, you're this color on your profile photo. You try to say I lighten or I do something to make myself lighter than a paper bag. Sweetie, you want to be my color, quite clearly. Now, on the whole aspect of um, you were trying to claim that I, you were trying to show photos of me without, no, with makeup on and try and show angles or something and say I look trans or something. For me, you have to understand if you paid attention to my channel what I already say about that. One, I don't like looking feminine. I rather look masculine. And two, you expose yourself as trans because no woman can actually see her actual vagina, the whole, I'm saying. We see our flaps and our clitoris. You wouldn't know because you don't have a real vagina. So I, I don't know how transgender vaginas work. Maybe you can actually see your whole. We can't. Um, we can feel for it, but you can't actually see it. It's down there um, below the labia minora. So yeah I, it's just how it is also one other thing is um with transgender women you guys always seem to not know much about the genitalia difference that we have that you have than what you have basically that's why you think all a woman's genitalia is a whole and not more than that any woman would tell you that yeah we have more than just a whole in our vaginal area. Um, as far as you trying to attack me, say like, certain things with makeup or whatever, well, yeah, I do wear my makeup differently some days, you know. I don't mind. This right here is my natural face with my natural makeup and everything, no makeup or anything. My natural face, you know. And anyone can tell I don't have a masculine face. So I think you are clearly jealous of me being that you are the person looking like this in your profile photo, but your legs look like that. And it's trying, it's giving that your face is trying. It's hardest to match my skin tone up here. Now on to one other topic. You were trying to say I use a filter. I do not use a filter on most of my videos, okay? This video here, specifically, I do not use a filter, and I am showing that. I show that in the photo above, video above as well. So, you know. As you can see, they're the same color as my face. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyway, yeah, I do not do what you do to try to aim to look like me because, you know, you wish you look like a regular woman. You wish that you were lighter skinned like me. You wish all these things and you will never be that. So sorry, sweetie. It's just what it is. Anyway. That's all I have to say in this video. Um, yeah, I just found it funny because it's like, if you knew anything about my channel, you'd already know. I'm a tomboy, so trying to say that I was born or something like that would not make sense. I think people like you are crazy, honestly. I don't mean that in a mean way, because in reality, am I really any different than Buck Angel? I'm really not. I really am not. I just... I'm trying, like I'm trying. Uh, if you understood, if you listened to Buck Angel, you would already know 
that Buck Angel tried to, to live as a woman. So for me, it's just like, you know, I, I don't want to be a woman. I've always said I have more of the rad femme mentality when I look at the transgender issues, really. And because, honestly, I don't see the pleasure in being a woman, really. But I'm stuck with the body parts of a woman. And, oh, yeah, one other thing. You guys were literally trying to say I had an abortion two years ago, okay? When I was pregnant two years ago. Um, so how, in biology sense, do you have the ability to become pregnant and also be born a man? How does this happen biologically? You guys don't make any sense on that, sweetie. It just seems like you at your 51-year-old age are very angry at the fact that I am a young, attractive woman in her 20s who is 110 pounds and you seek really hard to be around my yeah okay so i wanted to address this apparently Ooh, um polar bear was having a fit or dan in other words was having a fit because i specifically Sorry about that. But yeah, you're having an issue with the fact that I'm like almost half your age. I mean, a little over half your age. And I mean, like I'm more attractive and all that stuff. I hear that a lot. And I can feel that energy from you is that you have a lot of jealousy and anger for the fact that I'm just a better woman than you. And you're not even a real woman at the end of the day. You're transgender, which is fine. Like I said, I respect your identity, but you know. You're not always going to be jealous about the fact that you can't look like this with makeup, with plastic surgery, or hormones. You can't look like this. <laughs> That's just the truth. And it's what it is. Yeah, no. For me, it just takes makeup. All it takes is a little makeup. And you, on the other hand, have to, you know, get a lot of different things going on. And you still can't show your face. You still think you're ugly, you th still think you're unattractive, and you still think you're a man. And you're mad that nobody else buys the fact that you're a woman. Because you're not. Uh, that's what it is. Anyway, um, that's all I have to say. I don't really care, though. To me, like, oh, one other thing. When I call you a man, I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't. Because, like I said, I come from the other range of this. I mean, like, since I was 14, I was looking up, how can you reconstruct a penis? That's just how I've always done it. And this is why, for me, I've constantly tried my hardest to live as a woman, because I feel like, as a man, you can't live without a penis. Since I was born with a vagina, I can't reconstruct a penis. Not one that works, at least. You know, I guess out of the trans section of YouTube, and you can see I make lots of transgender uh, videos, I obviously side with the conservative side, rad femme side to some extent too, but not just that. I specifically am more of the mentality where like I align a lot with ex-transgender people. And maybe because, you know, we are similar. We are so similar. But at the same time, you know, I've never done it. I've never actually gotten on testosterone, you know. It's just not something I've done, you know. And a major reason why I haven't gotten on testosterone is because my boobs make me money, you know. My boobs are natural, and that's part of what makes me money. It's the fact that my boobs are natural and they're like 32 triple D's at the smallest. They can be a little bit bigger than that. I haven't gotten sights in a long time, but it's around that size. So, you know, um, that's a major reason for me. And then it's also another thing. This one trans man, I guess, who was pregnant was specifically talking about this and this lady who is conservative was like a pregnant woman wasn't realizing that pregnancy is feminine but for me this is a major reason why I live as a woman is because for me I want to use my parts my feminine parts before 
I decide to live as a guy if I choose to. And sometimes I think maybe I won't ever even do that because, like, I still won't be able to have a penis, you know. So that's why I mean, like, to me, when I call you a man, that's not a bad thing. I used to be jealous of trans women like you. But it's a weird relationship we have, really, honestly. You guys fortify me and make me feel like, oh, being a woman is okay because you're trying to be a woman. But at the same time, I still feel like I wish I was one guy. <laughs> the reason why is because I don't socialize like girls do, you know. And that comes down to my prominent ring finger. My ring finger is prominent. It's a 0.88 ratio and so you know since I was very young since I was like five years old I was getting beat up by boys because I would try and hang out with the boys and they would hit me of course because they'd be like ew a girl and all this shit right so I would always not fit like since I was five I had situations where I would try and hang out with girly girls and I would end up hurting them accidentally um there were some tomboys, and this has always been the case. A lot of tomboys I can relate to. But then again, many tomboys have a feminine side that keeps them grounded and understanding their femininity. But I have no understanding of femininity. So it's always just like, ah, shit. You know, kind of like situation, but yeah. So when I call you a guy, I am not trying to insult you. I, I just heard that you were trans, and so that's why I'm saying that, you know. I wish, I wish I was, honestly, I wish I was a trans woman, because if I was, I would retransition myself to live as a man, because as long as you have a penis, you can always go back to living as a man. I can't do that. You know, I'm stuck this way. I have a vagina, I have cervix, I have uterus, I have ovaries. And I always thought that if anything happened, anything, you know, medically happened and I have to have a hysterectomy or something like that, I would be sad because I can't have kids. And then, you know, I've always wanted kids. And the only way I'm going to have kids is if I push one out, which sucks. I hate the idea of labor, but I rather do that in order to have some kids because to me, it's an innate for me. My father wanted to have kids and I want to have kids, and it's kind of like genetic, I think, in the family, where we just desire to have children, regardless of our sex. It's not a maternal desire, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, I would be sad about that, but at the end of the day, I would go back to my first plan, which, when I was 14... I wanted to have a plan to specifically transition. And when I was 11, I heard that people could transition and I said, I thought when I was 11, well, wouldn't all women be men if they could transition? That's what I honestly thought. Because this is the way my mother represented the um, sex, female sex. Um, was kind of like we're stuck this way and there's nothing you can do to make the most of it because you know it kind of sucks but hell it's what it is you know my mother is more tomboyish too she has a prominent ring finger as well um but she still has a feminine side i don't have a feminine side and that's just you know it is what it is even with guys i have sex with guys for example relationships one is weird but sex, even just simple sex, can be a problem because, for me, my sexuality started out pretty much a top, basically. Like, when I was 11, 12, I felt like I had been missing a penis, basically. I felt deformed, and I felt like it was missing, basically. And I felt like I needed to grow a penis, which is why I looked up when I was 13 and 14... Uh, how you can actually develop a penis through maybe testosterone or through surgery, right? And then all I found was stories about people um, getting their penises removed. Okay, I heard stories when I was 19 and 20 
that even scared me more, but it was exactly what I would do in that situation. There's this one Belgian guy who specifically elected to commit suicide after the fact that his penis basically was self-rejecting or something, and um, it had to be removed. And he decided if it had to be removed, he had to be removed from this world. And to me, you know, I understood his concept, like he never wanted to be a monster. And to me, the way I see it, I don't mean to offend transgender people, but to be someone who isn't really a man, because you go to the bathroom every day and you're going to see that there's no penis, okay? You don't, you can't, you you just don't have the parts a man has. You, everything looks like a female's, and sometimes they'll say, that testosterone helps make them think they have a penis, and then that shit doesn't even look like a penis. To me, from what I've seen with trans men, it's the thing that grows with testosterone looks no different than mine right now. The clitoris. Because I have a larger clitoris. Um, so, I mean, like, it, it just isn't satisfying. It isn't satisfying, really, you know, and for me, it's always just been like, I've always felt like I was missing, and it it, it kind of makes me feel like I'm actually missing a body part, especially when I have sex with men, but sometimes I enjoy it, sometimes, because um, I do like men. You know, I've always naturally been attracted to men, but I just would rather be the penetrative partner, basically. I would rather be a top. You know, I'd rather use a penis, but I don't have a penis, you know. So, yeah. As far as um, thinking that vaginas are disgusting, yes. I've always thought mine was. I think everyone's is. Um, it, the, that thing looks deformed, you know, and it kind of makes sense because, you know, I don't, I wouldn't want to have a vagina if I could choose, but I can't choose. So I try to ignore that I have one really most of the time, you know, uh, you know, even when I was a kid and then I think of it with my own genitalia, um, when I was about three or four, I specifically would look at my clitoris and think that that was supposed to grow bigger. You know, clitoris has always been very prominent. Like I have a prominent clitoris compared to most females, you know, but, you know, it's not that prominent though, unless I'm horny. <laughs> then it starts rubbing again. So it's, it, it can get really big, but, um, yeah, like, for me, it's just kind of like, you know, I don't know. I just have always had the sense of wishing I was a guy, but I'm not, you know. And, you know, there are other aspects to life that, to me, when you think of the social role, it's weird. Like, for example, father-daughter relationships, okay? So, for me... My father died before I was born. Some people would think that I would look to, like, my uh, cousins who had a father who were female, but I never did because that was never the ideal relationship for me. A father-daughter relationship never was ideal for me, even as a child. I always looked to my male cousins and their father. That was more ideal. That was more enviable for me, not the other way around. You know, but, you know, I always found that, you know, something different, especially as uh, I grew up and started talking to my cousin. And she was like, she needed like this fatherly love as a female kind of situation. And for me, it's just like, I never, it was never like that for me. It was like, I don't know, I was like, I almost looked to males basically tell me how to be basically to grow up into um 
to grow up into what what a man is, basically. That's just how my perspective is. Everything, the way I see everything, is through a male perspective. Because mentally, that's just how I am. Physically, female. Physically, I'm ovaries and all that shit. And you guys have been talking about, you know, my pregnancy and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. That's all I have to say. I mean, the whole game about femininity, you're not going to play that game on me because I'm not a feminine person. I think you thought I was feminine because I have small features and they look feminine with makeup and all that shit. And... Oh, I can make myself look like a doll with makeup, you know. Obviously, you can't do that. I mean, any dude can't do that without surgery either. And everybody knows I'm piss poor. So, there would be no way I could get plastic surgery in any regard. That includes my boobs. <laughs> and that's one thing I'm very proud of. I mean, I'm in my upper 30s and my breasts are very perky, okay? My breasts are so perky and natural. And they have that sense of lying down, too. Because I don't have that fake look to my breasts. My breasts don't look fake. But they look like they sit perfectly. Because, I don't know, like, I guess I, I'm an hourglass, so I guess... My build is going to be more like what a, what a woman should be, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. Anyway. Because I am a female, this is why I think I don't really have any issue with, like, other things that I do in life. Or, uh making money off of certain things because it's kind of like I don't see myself through the feminine virtue sense it's kind of just like uh, I'm a female because I stuck a female uh, what can I do to benefit off of being a female because I don't feel there's a benefit but yeah anyway this is my perspective as a red femme uh sympathizing with the ex-trans, de-trans, gender, uh, society, and so forth, you know. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe. Comment down below, and have a great day. Bye, guys.